Dawn of the Dead Blu-ray review. It's happening now. Okay, so I had a few people that were telling me that since I like Blu-ray, I should check out Dawn of the Dead if I haven't already. And I was like, yeah, I really do need to get around to seeing that because I have not seen it yet. I know it's kind of strange, but I want to see... I've already seen Dawn of the Dead. I want to see um, Day of the Dead, I think, or... Um, I think it's called Day of the Dead. I'm not sure, but it's the last in the trilogy of the Dead series. So, yeah, I really need to go on and see those once they come out on Blu-ray. I know the Day of the Dead is on Blu-ray, but the other one is not. It's in black and white, so I doubt it will make it to Blu-ray anytime soon. All right. Well, anyway, on to the review. Dawn of the Dead, I think, is one of the. I think it was the one that kind of boosted the zombie genre of movies. This is basically the most influential zombie movie ever made, I think, kind of. But I love this movie. It's great. I can't believe I have gone this long without seeing it. It's, it's action-packed. I love how the zombies are done. I mean, it's, it's made in the 80s, I think. But, I mean, it's still... I love the feel of the movie. It looks awesome in Blu-ray. I mean, it's still got the little 80s feel to it, but it still looks pretty awesome for what they could do at the time. I love the special effects. It's fun to just pause them with your Blu-ray and just watch, like, I know one scene, they're raiding the house and they kick down the door and the guy just blows the guy's head off. What's fun, I just paused it because I noticed something. It's just a mache head with blood in it, so that's pretty funny to see the special effects from back then. I mean, now you don't notice it, but back then, it's pretty fun. I mean, back then you did not notice that. But it's pretty fun to see now. And now they've got so good with special effects, I can't really even tell half the time. Like, I can get the frames, but it's no, like, paper mache. It's all CGI or well done through makeup and everything. Alright, so on to the story. This is a great, 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 great zombie story. It starts out with the outbreak and um, just them trying to... Go raid this building where them trying to raid this building where it's kind of like they're raiding the building because they're holding all the zombies because they're their family members and they got the zombie disease I think yeah and um and then the FBI raid it not the FBI like the police kind of raid it and um they they kill everyone they kill all the zombies they find the little the little place where they were keeping all of them. And that's basically where the movie starts off. Um, three of the main characters, I think, no, four. Two, it's the two guys, the helicopter pilot, and then the girl. So they're going across trying to find some more safe away from the zombies. And as they're going, they just stop at different places getting gas and everything, and they encounter zombies. And then, um, just as they make their way, they find this mall where it's surrounded by zombies, but they notice that they can't get up to the higher floors. So they land there and make their base there, and they basically just kind of kind of start clearing the place out, making it safe to live in and everything. And I won't go too much more into detail because it might spoil it for some people who have not seen it. Like, I would have been spoiled if someone had said that in their review. But, yeah, story gets a 4 out of 5 because I love the story. The only thing it's lacking is it, I wish it would have been a little bit longer than the movie because I love this movie so much. They should have at least put, like, another 30 minutes in or at least because I felt that it kind of... I didn't like the ending too well. I won't spoil it for anyone, but... Yeah, if you have any questions about that, you can just send me a message, like I always say. The picture quality is, um, alright, so the story gets a 4 out of 5. Picture quality gets a, picture quality gets a 5, no, a 4 out of 5, because they really did a great transfer with this, I think. I mean, it looks pretty clear in Blu-ray. Not that as clear as you would hope, but still, i got to give them a few points for trying. So, yeah. Video quality gets 4 out of 5. It's it's very nice. It's one of the better 80s type movies that I've seen transferred to Blu-ray. So I haven't picked many of them up, but I'm going to start changing that and getting more. So yeah, picture quality 4 out of 5. Story, I think I said 5 out of 5. No, 4 out of 5 for story. Picture quality 4 out of 5. 
and the lashing, I like the effects in the movie, so that gets a 4 out of 5. I mean, it's the classic kind of effects that they would do back then. I mean, they didn't have that much in makeup and everything, so it's kind of great to see what they did on the low budget that they had. So, yeah, that gets a 4 out of 5. So, um, yeah, pick this movie up if you're looking for a one of the more more classic zombie films. I love it. Um, I'd say don't pay over 25, though. 25 is kind of stretching it, but don't pay over 25, because, I mean, they'll put them on sale, like I always say, you know, holidays are coming up, you're going to see some Black Friday sales and everything, so it's going to be really, really great to see. So, um, yeah, get it. It's pretty awesome. 25 bucks or less, go pick it up. Recommend this. Thumbs up. If you have any questions about this review that I did not already answer, please post a comment or send me a message. I'll answer it as soon as possible. And if you like this video, please subscribe or add me as a friend. I'd love to just talk to you about your Blu-ray movies, get your opinions on some of them. So, um, yeah, guys, thanks for watching. See you in my next video.